you want to make sure your electrical permit is applied properly, check this out. Subscribe and stay tuned. Hi folks, DMX Electric here. Today, I'm going to talk about the electrical inspection load calculation form. You need to submit this form along with your electrical permit application to CTL Fire Mountain. If you need to do any electrical work which requires a permit. So let's take a look. So simple enough, here, you put your address here. And if you have a secondary suite or a garden suite in this property, you put those addresses here. Let's take for example, you have a, a two-story detached single home with a basement in a newer community, which is supplied by underground power service. The house is 160 square meters. So you put 240 here because you only take 75% of the basement area. So for the first 90 square meters of the living area, you need 5,000 watts for the basic load. And after that, for the remaining, you need 2,000 watts for the basic load. And let's say you don't have any electric space heating load. You put a zero here. And you don't have any AC unit. You put another zero here. Let's say you have a, a typical electric range. You put 6,000 watts here. If you have a super big one, Let's say it's over 12 kilowatts. You put 6,000 watts plus 40% exceeds 12 kilowatts here, according to the Canadian Electrical Code rule. Let's also say you don't have any tankless electric water heater. You don't have a swimming pool which requires a heater. You don't have a hot tub or a spa or a sauna. So you put zero here. But you do have a level two electrical vehicle charger here. So 7200 is a typical number of a level two EV charger. You do have some additional loads, which is over 1500 watts. Let's say you just have a Close dryer, which is 5400 watts. So you take 25% of that, gives you 1350 watts. So here's all the load you need to do for the calculation. And according to the Canadian Electrical Code rule, in a single dwelling, exclusive of a basement, if it's over 80 square meters, you need a minimum 100 amps service. So again, you put all those numbers together, gives you 21,550 watts. And according to this number, you need a 100 amp main breaker for the principal dwelling. And you check your existing consumer service conductor. Let's say in this case, it's a number 2 ACWU, which is aluminum wire for this. Don't worry about the secondary suite and the garden suite here. So let's move on to the section two. So for the 100% primary dwelling 
in column one, in this case, which is 21,550 watts we have here. We don't have a second suite and we don't have a garden suite, so we put a zero here. We don't have any electric space heating load, put a zero here. No uh, air conditioning load, put another zero here. So we calculate column one, two, and three together. We need 21,550 watts. And we use that number divided by 240 volts, which is the voltage of your supply, gives you 90 amps. And now you need to call the electrical supply authority to figure out the size and type of the service conductor. In this case, let's say the customer call to AppCore and get the size of the conductor, which is 2 odds ACWU aluminum underground cable which is good for 150 amps. And similarly, the size of the meter socket, the meter box, is good for 150 amps. Now you have all the information you needed here. You need to verify this information though with the certified master electrician to finish this form. Then you can Submit this form along with your permit application to City of Edmonton. Thank you for coming to my channel and have a good day.